Hello everyone, this is Grayshaw17. I have a very different video for you all today. Um, I've done a couple of these in the past per game, sometimes with Anno or something like that, where there's an issue, a complication with a strategy game, and I try to bring up a quick guide or a quick helpful uh, tip for you. In this case, it's going over Battle Station Pacific, an unfortunate casualty of Microsoft's Windows Live service that they had for PC. Uh, games Windows Live, I believe it was called. And it was absolutely god awful for a lot of PC games because it would have a lot of issues. Uh, whether with uh, trying to set graphics or just playing it or connecting to servers. Anyway, it died. Microsoft killed it. And a few games were able to survive being killed in the process because they were connected to those servers, such as like the Batman Arkham series. However, a unfortunate casualty was Battle Station Specific, a game that I grew up with on the 360, really enjoyed, got me into strategy gaming, and now on PC you can't play it. Or so you may think. Because there's actually an easy workaround. I actually found another content creator who found a, uh, a way to do it and has the files. I'll put his information in the video and the file information down below. But in the meantime, um, I want to put this up as at least let my viewers know on where to go. Because uh, I keep getting this question a couple times when people bring up. Because I mentioned this game when I played World of Warships and a few other things. People are like, well, I can't play that. And I'm like, yes, you can. So here's my guide. Uh, essentially... Um, if we go into uh, essentially this and we switch over to this file, which if you give me one sec, I'll make it a little bit easier. So essentially you go into your documents, download the game, of course, on Steam, and you should get this, where it's XLive and uh, this XLive service that you can add in. Um, essentially, I'll leave the files down below. You essentially copy those in, paste them where it is, replace them, and you should be able to play this game. Uh, I'm 99% sure because it worked for me at the very least where I just put them in and I could launch it again Thanks to a content creator who made it nice helpful um, Video and guide down below to help me But this is my way of sending attention his way as well as making sure that if you are interested in this game You can still play it. It's not unplayable. There's still plenty of ways for you to access this game and play through the single player multiplayer campaign as well as the remastered campaigns which is one of the reasons why I wanted to play it and go through all of that because a lot of people put a lot of hard work in that stuff and it's a shame that some games can now just be lost to time be unfortunately because of technology and as we progress some things close down and as they're connected the games become unplayable but Battle Station specific will not die, uh, such as like World in Conflict, which I cannot wait to play that because I'm trying to download everything there. But hopefully I'll get that in the future. In the meantime, like I said, get these files, they're down below, and hopefully you can play through this campaign and enjoy yourself. And again, there's a Japanese campaign and an American campaign, so enjoy. But this has been GrayShot17, giving you a nice little helpful tip, um, and hopefully you... Uh, can use it otherwise if you have any questions leave them down below and i'll see all of you hopefully next time hey guys before you go let me give a special shout out to afria folkford joey g240 balam ace tony b ion little Kush, samuel mckinney seth coopers and jacob oswai thank you guys so much for your awesome support and generosity if you guys want additional content check out the links above otherwise i'll see all of you next time